call today. Um, first and most, welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. I'm not going, I am recording it, but I'm only going to share it for those that ask for it because I have a feeling that if I put it on there, um, it doesn't get seen. It kind of gets lost. So I'll just put it out there. Um, first, I want to talk to you about September and getting off of this roller coaster of July and August. It was kind of slow. I think it's been the slowest for everybody, but that's very typical. If you saw that in your business, it is very typical. People just, it's hard. I mean, even think of yourself, it's hard to stick to a regular schedule and there's a lot of traveling. Um, kids are off school, so you're juggling all kinds of things. But now with kids back on, back in school and everybody getting back on board, I think that this is the time to ride the wave. And what I mean about riding the wave, and everybody's talking about Maui, so it's perfect timing to get excited. And what's coming up? You know, we have the next three months. It's October, November, and December. It's holiday season. People are getting back into the swing of things. And I just want to tell you, ride the wave and keep doing what you're doing. Keep posting every single day the way that you're doing. Uh, post matters. I, I think if... People are watching you. I've had people still message me from when I joined over 18 months ago. And they're curious. They won't like or comment, but every now and then it's, they've said, okay, you have my attention now. So you're planting seeds. That be aware that you are because they are watching you. Um, let me hear it. Look here. Uh, the next three months with the holiday season, there's a lot of sweets coming up. And you guys, we have products that work. We have what people need. Build belief in the company. Build belief in the products. Be a product of the of the product, take them and share from your own experience. If you're not taking something else, another product, learn about it and share a variety of things that we, that we offer with Plexus. Um, with, with the holidays coming, people tend to gain weight. I don't know about you, but I've gained weight in the, these next three months before. And if we can be proactive about what's coming up and educate our peers and our, and our friends, to challenge them to not gain weight. We have products that can help them with the sweets, the cravings. Um, you know, January 1st comes and a lot of people want to lose the weight. Well, they don't have to be in that situation if they take care of themselves now. And you guys, when I say ride the wave, this is last year, I was a silver ambassador, just barely silver, barely, barely, barely. And Someone told me at uh, Leaders Retreat, and it was, the, I think, the best advice I've ever gotten. It said, ride the wave. Because between now and April, you're going to be riding the big Hawaii waves. And I'm telling you, people are watching you right now. They know what you have. They may just not need it right now. They may say no, but there comes a time when they will need it. And in January, people are going to go back to the gyms. They're going to go back to losing the weight, goals, New Year's resolutions, saving money, uh, paying off debt, you name it. They're gonna, they need exactly what we have to offer. So this is going to be a long wave to, to ride between now and April. So just stick with me. Be consistent. Post. Um, let's have an action plan. We need to be intentional about what we are doing, what our goals are, and where we are headed. Um, run with it, have daily activity. You know, it's up to you. It's not up to anybody else. We all have the same tools that, you know, in our back office, Celeste has the same tools that we have. Why, why not us? Why can't be, we be in Maui next year? Why, why can't we be making a six figure income? Yes, we can. We, we have it within us. And here's something that I read from a personal development book is like, if you were given a job and just say they, they didn't look at your experience. They just said, you know what? I want you and I want you to do this job. And this job is going to pay you a hundred grand. Would you take it? I would. If I had a job here, that's going to pay me a thousand, sorry, a hundred thousand dollars a year. And they'd said, Maria, it's your job. Would you take it? And I said, yes, no experience necessary. I would take it. But what would I do? I think I would grab as many tools as I could, like personal development books. I'd read their manual, whatever it was, and I would learn that job. I would educate myself to be the best person to fit this job. That's exactly what we're doing here, folks. That's exactly what we're here. We um, are doing network marketing, relationship building. We learn about the products, just like if you would go into that job, 
if whatever it is, if it's, it's pharmacy, if it's medical, if it's, uh, you know, um, advising students, whatever it is, a principal job, a doctor, you're going to learn what you have to do every day. So same thing with our jobs here is just we get to learn how to do our jobs. And so for that, I highly recommend that you devote at least 15 minutes of personal growth time. If you're not a reader, do audiobooks. Uh, develop yourself, figure out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are, uh, and work on those weaknesses. And if you don't have a strength that you want, partner up with a sideline, a sister, or somebody on your team. For example, I know that, um, and I'm watching Christy right now, I know that Christy is really good at putting out PowerPoints and um, information. So if I'm not, that's not one of my strengths, I'm gonna partner up with Christy and say, Christy, would you be able to help me out with this? And we just go by our strengths and weaknesses and find those out, what those are. Um, we are gonna talk about an action plan and then customers. If you have customers and ambassadors, that's what we need to focus on, growth. Okay, when I said about giving birth to this baby and getting to Maui, we have 10 months. I'm gonna move myself forward here. So when you look at this screen or the little um, right here, this graph that I'm sharing, and you, hopefully you can see it. It says silver ambassador, you need three, right? So we have some silvers on here, we have some golds, and um, possibly we, I, we have a ruby on this call. So okay, so look at this. We're, we wanna get to Maui. I'm gonna do some numbers here, okay, number crunching. It is ambassadors, it's people, but it also down the bottom of the line, it's also numbers. So this right here is just the numbers. So let's look at it as number wise. So to get to Emerald, we need 300 ambassadors. We have 10 months, ladies. I think it's all ladies here. Three, 300 ambassadors, all with a, an auto ship order, which if you times 300, sorry, 300 times five would give you 1500 points, right? So if you already have 20 ambassadors on there, you can subtract that. But I always just stick with the 300 because people will come and go. You will sign ambassadors and they're probably not going to do anything with the business. Some will run with it. So our job is to keep recruiting. And what I mean by recruiting is look at 10 months. So I did the little math here and you divide. You, oh, here's Clyde. Hi, Clyde. Hello. And, and gentlemen. So you take 300 divided by 10 months. That gives us, gives us a number of 30. So that's the number that we need to focus on recruiting each month. Now, if you have a team, if you're just starting out, you know, don't look at it as just you're recruiting all 30, but look at it as your team as a whole recruiting 32, 30 as well. So you break that down. So 300 ambassadors divided by 10 months is 30 ambassadors a month. So let that be your goal. So we're looking at goals here. Divide 30 by four weeks, that's gonna give us about seven and a half ambassadors to add a week. Okay, now don't be discouraged if you, whoops, if you, um, if you think that, gosh, you know, I'm just starting out. You guys, the power of three, we've talked about recruiting three. One of the things that I say is, or we've been told and actually, and I've been trying to, to work this is always recruit three, go silver every single month, recruit three ambassadors every month, and then help them with silver. Did that mute all? Uh, yep, I think so. Okay, let me grab here. So 20, if out of those that you recruit, 80% will probably do nothing with the business. They are probably gonna be your wholesalers. Uh, they'll probably try the product for a month, two months, and then they'll probably drop. That's normal. And don't, don't take it hard. I, I was very unaware of this and actually was very upset when my first ambassador dropped. I was like, no, no. But you know, it's, it's okay if they drop. You run with that 20%. So if you get 10 people on board, eight of them will probably drop and you're gonna have two that are gonna be runners. So devote your time and effort to those two runners. They can to re recruit for you and that's how your team will grow. So let's focus on recruiting every single month between you know, October, September is almost over. I mean, you can still push in September, but let's go into October with writing down goals 
and our numbers for recruiting ambassadors. Um, I, I remember um, Clyde was at one of that meetings with Amy Paul and he said, you know, let's look for uh, the headhunters, you know, so look for people that are influencers, people that are followed, that are liked, that are social, um, you know, look for those people and bring them into you. And what I'm also, don't bring them into just with the products. You know, there's people that need the compensation plan. There's people that um, have friends, sorry, my, that have friends that could potentially use the benefit of the products, the compensation plan. Um, so this is for everybody. This is definitely for, for everybody. Go for the no's. Um, a lot of the no's will turn into yeses. If they're no's right now, keep following through. They may turn into yeses. No excuses. There's no excuses. And I'm, I'm telling you guys this because I also need to practice it for myself. Um, if you have no time, let's figure out a, a power hour where you just shut off your phone and work on IPA, income producing activities. And I'm going to also upload a, a tracker. It's a daily method of operation. And I know some of you have already been doing it, but if you haven't just yet, focus on reaching out to you can do 531 or 321. Re sorry, invite three new people, train two. Why am I doing that right? Actually, here I have the score right here, the sheet right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, can you all see that? So you talk to three new people, you follow up with two, and you train one ambassador. And I've been looking at this sheet, and I'm going to, this is for Leaders Retreat, I'm going to change it, and I'll put, you know, road to Maui. But you can focus to fill this out on Sunday nights, fill in all your names, and then take it as your week. So on Monday, this is who you're going to reach out to, this is who you're going to follow up with, and this is who you're going to check in with. So you fill this out, this is like your homework. and. If you want, I can check in with you every month to figure, you know, just to make sure that we are all on the same page, that we're doing what we, I need accountability. I personally need accountability. That's why I like those IPA groups because it holds me accountable. So if you need accountability, I would be more than happy to schedule a monthly meeting with you via Zoom and we can discuss who you reached out to, how to, who you trained, what you're reading, and that kind of uh, a follow-up. To grow your business, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna close this out. Sorry guys, I'm having technical tea difficulties. There we go. When, one of the thing I, things that I also wanna say is posting on Facebook really matters. Uh, I've been sharing a lot of other, just you know, slim and, and losing weight and gut health, but we have so many products that focus on other things and posting really, really matters. You guys, we can post about gut health one day. We can post about vitamin uh, absorption. We can post about the energy, the focus. And we have all of this in our back office. Everything is on, um, if you log in, there's a knowledge space. And then there's also what you can say about, for example, the Slim, Edge, Boost, all those things. Every product has the, word, the wording already there so that you don't have to make that up. We already have all the tools already in there that we can share. Um, people look at us and probably think we're weight loss. And if we just offer weight loss, you know, we're also depriving others of um, pain, uh, inflammation, I mean, you name it. Uh, I started posting about financial peace and actually people started asking questions about it. If you share about yourself and your, your uh, journey with Plexus, people are most likely to follow you and to be a part of that. Diversify your posts. We have 16 different products and a compensation plan. Share about them. We have so much. If you are stuck in a rut, I know, you know, I was after the summer. I was just trying to figure out what to move, where to move, where to go. Um, it's always good to go back to basics. And if you have that welcome kit, there's 10, um, the, the um, oh, what's it called? Ah! Oh my goodness. I don't have it here. But the, the list of the 10 things to do. Yes, the quick start guide. Thank you, Loretta. Go back to that and, and focus on doing your 100 list. Keep adding to that list, uh, making friends on social media and expanding your network. Uh, 
you know, sometimes it's even tough for me to get outside of my house, but you know, just make an effort to try a new club, go to a new gym, um, go to church, go to your kids events at school, whatever it is, go walk in the park, go walk your doggy, go walk, play with your kids and see if you can strike a conversation with a new person. Um, let's see. So that power hour, so you guys, if I'm skipping all over the place, I'm going to try and go down my notes now. That power hour, try to just do one hour a day. If it's waking up earlier before the kids are up, or if it's an hour before once they're in bed, I've been practicing that and actually it works. I just shut off my phone and don't do anything but exactly what is on my list of my tracker. So this is who I'm going to reach out to. This is who I'm going to follow up with. And I get no distractions because I do get distracted on Facebook and I start scrolling through and then I'm like, oh, look, recipe. Oh, look, so-and-so did this. And I get distracted. And that's not income producing, not at all. Um, get, get three new customers. Uh, those customers that you have, if they're happy with their products, those could be great ambassadors and they can definitely you know, be the people who uh, will recommend the products to other friends and family, and they can be one of your rock stars if they already know the, the products and what it's doing for them. Uh, this is something that we have been um, talking about with Aaron Zimmerman, and it's reaching out to your chicken list. I know we all have a chicken list, and it's, or you have someone in your head like, oh, they would be great, but I just don't know what to say. Uh, message me, and we have a, um, a message that you can send out to them. You can just kind of tweak it to your wording. But what if that one person would be your rock star? What if they have been thinking about it, but they just not don't know how to approach you, but you approach them? Don't just f firmly rely on posting on social media or Facebook or Instagram. You know, every now and then reach out to someone and say, hey, I thought about you. You've been on my mind and I just think I need to get this off my chest, but I think you would be a great person on my team, or I think you would benefit from these products. I know you suffer from migraines. I know you don't sleep well at night. I know that you're posting about this. I know that money is an issue. I know that you're living paycheck to paycheck. Reach out to them. They're probably proud and they probably don't want to reach out to you. Don't want anybody to know what they're going through, but you might be that saving grace that they need. I've had some of those people like, oh, I've been meaning to message you. Thank you. And it actually, it, it feels good once you get that out of the way and it gets easier. Practice it, practice it. Even if they say no, you know what? It's perfectly fine. Move on to the next person. Um, talking about the, the 90 days, how we're going into this, the next three months, I've been thinking about this and actually I saw this on Andrea Mitchell and she was thinking about doing a 90 day um, health challenge. So instead of gaining any weight, you know, most of us, I've, I've gained weight. What if we do a challenge where people don't gain weight? Either you stay the same or you lose a couple pounds, ideally in the holidays. So something to kind of throw out there and, and do challenges. You guys, there's bizarre season right now. Get out of your comfort zone. Go find a place where you can set up a table and have information and share what we have with Plexus. You know, it doesn't cost a lot to set up an informational booth or something. I have extra bottles of products that I can mail out to you, or maybe you've saved some, uh, creating something fun and with whiteboard or chalkboard or whatever it is, and just set that up there. Even if it's at your local gym, your church, bazaars, they're only like about $20 a table for a full day, maybe two days. Really fun time. People are out to spend money right now. Uh, summer is tough because there's vacations, there's school supplies, uh, clothes shopping, so some people held on to their money. But coming into the giving season and people are out shopping for Christmas and just, you know, all this holiday stuff. I, I kind of want to go on a shopping spree. I don't have any money, but I want to spend money. I'm in that time, you know, it's the time of the year that you want to spend money. And ladies are really well at going to these places. They're very well attended and they'll have cash on them. They'll, they'll buy something from you. Um, this is something that I, I am competitive and I don't know if any of you on here are competitive, but there's one thing about being competitive and comparing yourself. Do not compare yourself to others. But if you look at a time frame, like I do like to look at people's time frames when they went Emerald or when they reached a certain, a certain rank, I like to look at that and not necessarily compete with them, but with that rate, that time frame that they ranked. Or if so-and-so is adding a new ambassador, I'm going to hurry and I'm going to find up one ambassador too, just because I'm competitive. Uh, and that's how I started off was, Jens was posting the the top PV in her month and I thought well I want my name on that you know the end of the month and 
you know, the top PV, who's the top PV or, or who's been recognized or something. So think about somebody that, or something that you want to not compare yourself with, but be competitive with. It's okay to be competitive. If that's what motivates you, run with it. Um, but just do not compare yourself to others. You can take that, um, that, that timeline. If you look at some of the jewels and, and the timeline that they ranked, take that and write it down and you can go with that. You know what it is to, you know what to do to get there. Um, maybe it's Maui that motivates you. You know, maybe it's the six figure income. How about $10,000 a month? That would be pretty sweet. Um, the, the Lexus, uh, you know, helping your friends be financially free or debt free, helping your friends find health, you know, that had no answers and they've absolutely have found that, you know, they're off medications. That is amazing. That in itself is rewarding. I know that I, I have always liked to help people that I didn't know what to go, how to go about it. I thought maybe I had to start a non-for-profit thing, you know, just those kinds of things that we always have in our mind. But what if this is it? What if this is the calling that we have? And we have it within our hands and we can go out and do so many things. You guys are already on here. Um, so let's see. Back to uh, Emerald, going Emerald and 10 months. So think about what it is that you want to accomplish in the next 10 months. I don't, don't look at it as a big step. Let's look at it at the small you know, small goals first. So when you look at this screen, depending where you are at, if you are silver right now, whoops, where's my other screen? If you are silver right now, what does it take to get to gold? So can we reach gold in the next two months? Yeah, okay, so what do we need to do to, you know, so you, you build one month to make it the next month. Like I would say, if I was a silver right now, I could potentially go gold next month, but I think I have to build myself this following month in October to go gold in December. So I would recruit myself and I would encourage my team to reach silver and reach, you build up for that next rank. So I would recruit to go gold in November because when you recruit somebody with a welcome pack, you don't get those uh, five points right away, but you want them with a backup order. Now here's something new too that I wanted to talk about is Starting next month, you're not required to have a backup order on to be commission qualified. And that's, that's okay. But I'm not going to change the way that I recruit. So when I recruit somebody, I'm going to still explain to them the backup order. This is your backup order. And you want this to be on just to make sure that you get your product in time, that you don't have to go back and hassle in and change the date or it's just automatically there. And that way they don't have to remember to order. Their order didn't get there in time or whatnot. So that's not going to change the way that I present things. I mean, it's up to you, but we definitely want to secure a backup order still for them because that's what's going to help us rank and reach our goals as well. Now, if you want to go senior gold, subtract the number of ambassadors you already have on there, give or take some numbers because people do fall off and you want to reach 250 points. So think, think about where you are at right now and reaching that next rank. And I would be more than happy to coach you or talk to your upline too. And you guys can come up with a plan. Now, the plan that I have is right now, write down your months, write down your current points that you have in your back office, and then divide that, sorry, subtract that by 1,500, okay? So then the number of the points that you have left, divide that by five. And that's going to give you the ambassadors you need to reach the next rank, whether it's emerald, whether it's gold, senior ruby, senior gold, whatever it is, it's, it's kind of like a numbers game. I even hate to say that, but it is numbers. So you divide the number by five and then give or take about 3.5 because people will fall off. Sorry if I lost you there. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna unmute the, everybody because we're getting close to the how you can take your numbers and divide and reach those goals. Yeah, unfortunately, when you put that screen up, um, Teresa can't see me for some reason when you put oh. that up. She's just saying that she looked up. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
Um, so I don't want to, um, what's the word? I just, I, the, these are attainable, you guys, 10 months, but just put your next thing. I hear you. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys. So uh, my advice is to write down your goal and let's start here. Whatever rank you want to achieve, let's write that down and let's make a graphic. So if my if your next rank is to go gold or senior gold or senior ruby, if, here's a challenge I want you guys to do. Make a graphic for yourself. Already. As you know how we always make graphics that so-and-so has gone silver or someone has gone gold. Make your own graphic of how you want it to look. And keep that, you can send it to me, you can post it on the team page. But let's start to visualize our goals and let's make them daily and practice this too. So, and then figure out what it is that you're going to do. Write down your, your action plan. How are you going to reach out to these people? If it's posting, if it's consistently reaching out. And if any of you want to be added to a road trip to Maui uh, Facebook page, I will add you to there. And it will be, I don't want to do like weekly check-ins, but more likely like monthly, but you can have the weekly check-ins with your upline. I want some form of accountability on here. I know I work really well with accountability and you know, I like it when Jen tells me, hey, Maria, uh, or Elizabeth also, have you checked on this? Or ha uh, what have you done today? I like that. Some of us may not work that way. So if you're, if, if that's your style, that's completely fine. But I do like to have a sense of direction, and I do like someone to tell me, okay, this is what we're going to say. So if that's you and you need that accountability, let me know. Because I, 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 I can definitely help. And I don't want to be bossy. I, that's not the thing. I'm not a bossy person, as most of my level ones would say. I've never put the business on them. They just do it, and if they take off, they take off. But I, I'm not pushy, and that can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. Some some people just work. But okay, so one thing is, do your. I want you guys to do your graphic for your next rank, and that's with. Um, uh, you could use Rana. If, if you don't have any of those, I can tell you which apps to use, but I want you to make a graphic of your next rank. And I want it, I'm gonna post up a tracker. After this call, I'm gonna post a tracker and I want you all to fill it out with what it is that you're gonna do the following week. And you can finish off this week, but we're gonna work on these every Sunday night. We're gonna fill in who we're gonna follow through, who we're gonna reach out to and do our job through the week. Just like when you go to work, your boss tells you what to do. Here, you are your boss, so you tell yourself what it is that you're going to do, okay? If we're not doing things, you know, I've slacked here and there, and I know that when I slacked, you know, I can see my numbers go down, and I can see that my paycheck is going to be less. I posted a call with um, uh, Chris McCall, and he was talking on this to make your, your paycheck. I don't know if you guys have seen this call, but he said, take your checkbook and write yourself a check. How much do you want to get paid? Okay. If you want to get paid a thousand dollars, write your check for a thousand dollars, and then tell yourself what do I need to do to get paid a thousand dollars. I think you know. Oftentimes, I've gotten a check from Plexus, and I just know that we get paid on the fifteenth. We get paid on the fifteenth. Um, sometimes it's less. Sometimes it's more. And the days that it's less, I'm like, dang it! I wish I would have reached out more. I, I I wish I would have done more because we get paid on our on what we do. You know, it's not like I'm, I'm working hourly and I still get my, my job. It's like based on the production of my job. So write yourself a check, how much it is that you want to get paid monthly on that next 15th and what it is that you're willing to do to get paid that much. Sound pretty cool? And how, ma how many of you would like to be on a, um, on a team road trip to Maui where we hold each other accountable for a job? trackers and um it's not a weekly thing it's not a, it's just once a month <laughs> and we can you know if you feel like you want to add more people on there that are not on the call today please feel free um take this and run it with your team i i'm you guys i'm just at this point i think i'm just kind of throwing stuff out there and i I have sweaty hands right now because I'm thinking, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. And if it works, it works. Um, 
I think this is great. And if we can motivate each other, and if you guys have any ideas, I would welcome them. Um, you guys are all amazing and you're leaders and you have things that have worked for yourself that I possibly haven't tried just yet. But I, I will set up that page and I will add you to it. And after this call, I'm gonna set up the tracker to the road trip to Maui and focus on numbers. And if you need one-on-one -on -one with your upline, or to that extra push, I would be more than happy to do a weekly coach coaching hour with you on how to get there. But it's do it. Why not us? You know, if someone else has done it, why not us? We have the same tools that anybody else has had. Why not us? What's your why? First of all, start with your why. And I think I know most of your guys' is whys. And, and you guys have some really strong whys. And it can make me cry. And if we're all on here, you took the time to be on this call tonight. It's because you're meaningful, you're passionate about it, and you want to make this happen. So why not us, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to set, set that up, and if you guys have any other ideas you want to throw at me, if you have any questions, it's been 30 minutes. I promise it would be 30 minutes. Um, you're welcome to stay on. We can chat some more if you have any questions. If you need to go, I respect that. Um, thank you for jumping on tonight. And uh, if you have any topics that we can cover next month, I mean, sorry, next week, more than likely to. And if any of you want to run my meeting, I would love that. I would love to hand it over to you and you guys can run, run this hour. I would and love to. Thing, I do have a question. Um, so the next Zoom meeting, I'm wondering if there's a way you can put Christy at the top so I can see her while the PowerPoint's on. You know, uh, Teresa, I did look into that, and I think I don't have that membership with Zoom where I can add her up as a panelist. Um, but if you do have a cell phone, you might be able to just scroll to see Christy or Brenda, who is interpreting. Uh, I think you have to, I have to have the next rank up on. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to do that, she's saying. Oh, on her cell phone. Hmm. Yeah, I'm on my iPad, so. Does she see three little dots at the bottom? She can scroll through. So Christy, if she actually touches, if she actually touches Maria's face and slides to the, um, slides her finger to the left, there will be more people that she sees as the screen moves to the left. Okay. Right now, like I'm looking at like myself, Loretta, Maria, and Teresa. Hi. And then like if I scroll again, then I can see myself, Brenda, Christy, Kelly. And you just keep going until she finds Christy's face and she can watch Christy interpret. Does that make sense? Teresa's saying yeah. Yeah, thanks. Did thanks. she find it? Awesome. This is so awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for explaining that. You did a good job of explaining that, Robin. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, you guys. So who's any questions, any things, any advice, any tips? Oh, whoops. Clyde. Do you have a question? You're muted. Yeah, I, I had a question. Um, I am, uh, approaching, I've already approached one massage therapist. I'm going, uh, cause I used to be a massage therapist. So I'm approaching that world, uh, very easy access for me. And I'm going to be talking to, uh, another massage therapist who owns her own, uh, clinical spa. Um, I pretty much know what to do. My question, cause, cause we're talking about them either a offering the products in their own clinic. Uh, as well as if they want, you know, them building the business as an opportunity if they want to do that. But it's all about approaching the massage therapist about adding an extra stream of revenue for their for their practice. Um, so what I've done is I've sat down and talked about, you know, uh, products, uh, giving them a product brochure. Uh, Chrissy, Chrissy gave me some information to send to her. Uh, there's a retail compensation plan, which the massage therapist really wanted to know about. Um, and we're discussing the fact that 
either the massage therapist wants to um, become an ambassador and offer the products wholesale or buy the products wholesale and then sell them retail in their clinic. Um, or, you know, the other option is she's thinking about uh, not doing it at all other than becoming a customer and just letting Christy and I offer the products and brochures through through her clinic. Um, she is she is interested in the in the ambassador part because I told her about the back office because her concern was she would have to worry about <laughs> calculating and things like that. And I explained the back office, so she's happy about that. But and other than what I've already done, um, do you have any other tips that any any anything else that I could offer or explain to massage massage therapists? I think that's an excellent potential. I think you, they have a lot. I mean, our products are exactly what would go hand in hand with what they practice. Massage, I would tell you this from my, my knowledge is we um, want to get also rid of toxins and stuff that's trapped in the muscles. And I don't know the, you know, the, the whole terms of that, but mm -hmm. Um, I did cupping once and I don't know if this person does cupping and I understand that you get the toxins out of the muscles that are trapped in there and sometimes it's very hard for them to be released and you have to drink a lot of water and flush them out and from my point of view and the, my understanding and I know uh, Carrie's on here and she's got a lot of knowledge on this too is you want the bio cleanse would be very ideal to help release these toxins and and you know a massage therapist they're gonna have clients that come in there with inflammation with aches and pains um and you know it's just like a hairstylist people go in there some talk and some don't so they get told a lot of things and if you know in those conversations you may have a lot of potentials that she could say you know what i got into this product and i think you should try it so i think she should sign up as an ambassador and sell the products in her back office give Educate her slowly. You can put her on two way uh, conversations as you're starting, mm -hmm. she's starting out because she may not know what to say. Right. You put her on a three way conversation with that potential, and you can answer those questions. Um, she can also sell retail from her office. I know Jen has a chiropractor under her team, and he sells them out of his own office now um, at retail price. So he buys them wholesale price, and he sells them. Mm -hmm. which you can do. It's just figuring out the tax and shipping. Uh, but definitely, I say sign her up as an ambassador and and she would be great. Just give her the knowledge about you know, what our products yeah. are doing. And I mean, she's probably already knowledgeable about how it implements. Yeah, she, she likes, uh, she specializes in orthopedic massage. And when we were going over the products in the brochure, she picked the nerve and ease products. She said, these make the most sense as far as my clients go. Because as a former massage therapist myself, I already know what to ask. To ask them, you know, So they, they can automatically tell me, okay, this is what I would offer. This is what I wouldn't. Weight loss, they can't really get into. Um, it's not in their scope of practice, but they can do the other and do it. And, of course, she can buy what she wants as a customer. So that, that pretty much what you said goes with what I thought. So... Uh, Yes, and, you know, and we're much more than weight loss companies. So absolutely, uh, getting people healthy from the inside out. And the, uh, I mean, she she's she has a lot of people come to her. So she has a lot oh, of yeah. people. So she would be great. She would be okay. great. So some of the things I would share with her is obviously the compensation plan. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a product out there about our product facts. And Crystal has this on her back in her team page. It lists every single product, the list of ingredients, what they're good for. So I would send that over to her and give her two to three days and just say, you know, I'm going to follow up with you in three days and, you know, and make that, I'm going to call you at a certain time and let's answer any questions that you may have. And if you need to, um, you know, I know Christy has a lot of knowledge and, um, Carrie, I keep looking at you, girl, because I know that you're very knowledgeable in these areas too. But we could also put, you know, a sideline uh, sister as a help with a three way conversation. Or, yeah, she, or even you could put her on a three way Zoom like we have right now too. Well, yeah, we're, uh, I sent her six items Christie's before and after. She has the product ingredient list, 
hotel uh, breakdown thing, and then she has a compensation plan, and I believe two other things. And then, uh, so we're giving her a few days to look it over. And then I've already offered her that, you know, Chrissy and I can do a meeting with her and answer any more questions. You've got it down. Good job. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. I'll keep you posted, but I need to be better with uh, <laughs> setting up the next meeting. That's something I'm working on. Oh, with her? Well, just with anybody. It's just if I do a freeze, if we have this conversation, I have a conversation with a massage therapist, I need to do a better job of saying, okay, we've had this meeting. I'm going to send you this information. Let's uh, get back together again on this day at this time. Yeah, and what I know, what works best is when you set it up, don't give them the option. Okay. How does tomorrow at six o'clock work? Can I can I okay. call you tomorrow at six? You be proactive. You set the time and the date. Don't let them gonna play the back and forth date. So right. ask them that if I give them a time, I'm gonna call you at six, and they'll say yes. It's going the back and forth. Okay. Yeah, I just found this easier since there's so many people I can approach. I did some thinking and really realized that looked at my own past work experience, and since I love health. You know, reaching out to massage therapists is really great to, for me to start with because they also know chiropractors, osteopaths, and so on. And uh, it, it was a really good meeting because I asked her a lot of questions, and based on what she told me, I was like, "Oh yeah, this can this can work out real well." So absolutely. And another thing that I would uh, recommend is on the Plexus Ambassador Support Team page. Just stop there if there's any other massage therapists out there that are ambassadors, and then you can connect with them. Oh, that's good. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, good, good, good job. Hey, Christy. Um, I just wanted um, just to have you tell Teresa that she can go back and re-watch this recording and follow those same instructions to just scroll the picture over so she can um, watch you and we go back through the video. Okay, Shazane, thank you. I will do that. Thanks. Cool. Uh-huh. 